do you see this your boy Sherry Speech and right now I want to talk to you guys about H.R. Wells. Now why do I want to talk about this man? Why is it so close to, you know, season three, episode nineteen of The Flash? Because this is gonna be my final theory, by the way. Here's but here's why I want to talk about this man, because I feel like and according to you guys and the man the man the man of the hour that commented, you know, my homeboy C Sanders, man, what's up? Second of all, bro, first off, I just want to say real quick. We should definitely be doing fucking Skype video conversations so we can theorize, make up these damn theories, man. Yeah, I think it'll be a good ass idea. Just let me know what you think in the comments section below after this video. But uh, anyway, here's why I don't trust H.R. Wells, and it seems like C. Sanders kind of agrees as well. He actually brought the idea to my attention. I threw, and I think he has some pretty spot on uh, thoughts. Here's why. Apparently, according to him, he feels like the timing in which he returned was a little fishy. And I have to agree with him because... When he retired, I mean, when he returned, it was just moments, literally just seconds before Caitlyn, you know, unfortunately passed away and became Killer Frost. And then when Cisco questioned him as to where the hell he's been for the past few days, this man literally said, I was on a date with this wonderful woman named Rhonda. Rhonda who? <laughs> Rhonda who? Now, honestly, that's what I was, that's the first thing I thought. Now... At the, moment, at the moment, I cannot recall her last name, but from according to C. Sanders, my boy, he said that in the comics, C Rhonda is linked to Johnny Quick, who happened, who happened to be both B villains on Earth 3, you know, and it's tied into Savitar somehow. And so, that was a really shocking revelation to me, man, when I realized that. Um, again, C. Sanders, man, you, you, you're the real MVP, bro. Thanks again. <laughs> but uh, anyway... As he said, you know, then he off, then he begged, then he had another question that really baffled me too. Once again, this man is hitting home runs. Um, he said, one thing I also noticed is how the hell did Jay know where Barry was when he got thrusted into the Speed Force when he tried to throw the Philosopher's Stone in the Speed Force? Now, again, the Philosopher's Stone is like a new is a new element within the Flash Flashverse because unlike every other speed, their Savitar is the man that was first granted speed. Through this philosopher's stone, it was a very mystical stone, very powerful, very uh, extra extraterrestrial like, right? Um, for the first time, you know, he's not a, a speedster that was hit by an excel uh, particle accelerator, accelerator, but by a mystical ass stone. That's why he calls himself the guy of speed. And uh, as we all remember, you know, he was so fast, even Barry himself said it was like a blur. But anyway, um, he said, How did Jay know? where Barry was when he got pushed into the future to see his the woman he loves die. How did he know where Barry was? And that's a good ass com that's a good ass question, bro, because I don't know how he knew. But then again, if we rec if we recall back on the mid season finale where it called title the present, uh, season three, episode nine, I believe, he said, I've heard many stories about Savitar. He's never he's never remember, Jay has never saw a Savitar until that night. Until to, to, to the night in which they went to go stop Dr. Alchemy. Remember that? And so, maybe Jay knows a little bit more about Savitar than he's put on. Maybe, and plus also, maybe HR knows a hate way a lot more than what he's been telling people. Because, again, as C. Sanders and I agreed upon, it does seem a little fishy as to how he popped up moments before Caitlyn Snow died and things of that nature. Not only that, but we also saw a few... Uh, a few uh, photos of what looks to be next week's episode and the season finale. Uh, in the season finale, I just want to touch on real quick. A lot of people were seeing it because it was buzzing on the internet. That it was a funeral, it was a wake, something of that nature. And it turns out it could possibly be like a nightmare, dream, hallucination type thing going on in Barry's head, which makes a lot of sense. You know, we see what looks to be like a woman that looks to be in Barry's mother, Nora. Who, who could be? But then I thought about it. Um... What I found out a couple days ago was this woman, there's a scientist that comes into play to which who's going to help reveal the identity of Savitar, who I think we're going to finally get the, his identity revealed in episode 20 of this season. It's right before the season uh, ends. And her name is, goes by, she goes by the name of Tracy, you know, and I cannot wait for that episode to air. I believe May 2nd is when it's going to air. I cannot wait for it. So expect a review or reaction depending on how the server is going to be. Um, anyway, you know, seeing, you know, what to be, what's to be expected 
of next week's episode. You know, we saw Barry go into the future. He said, all right, I'm here. 2024, you know, he gets greeted by Mirror Master and uh, Top. Mirror Master beats his ass and said, you know what? You're in for a rude awakening. Then we hear Killer Frost say, you know what? You'll be surprised to see who he actually is. You know, and then uh, even in the beginning, we hear Barry say, Cisco, Cisco what happened? He, he's like, well, you're going to figure out, you're going to have to figure that out for himself. You know, so he goes, so Barry goes off searching for the remaining um, members of Team Flash. You know, Cisco's in shambles. Barry, the future Barry is definitely in shambles, um, just to quote uh, Grant Gustin on it. Um, Joe, you know, we even saw Joe uh, look like this, and it really broke my heart. So, yeah. You know, seeing that really got to me, you know, because, you know, Iris is his baby girl, you know, he, the last thing a parent ever wants to do is lose their child, you know. Anyway, you know, again, like the old saying goes, the parent is never supposed to bury the child, the child is supposed to bury the parent. And to see, so seeing that really hit the spot for me. But anyway, you know, I can again, I cannot wait for this uh, episode and the rest of the season, man. I know it's going to be dope. Uh, be on the lookout for my Supergirl and Arrow review or reactions as well, because you guys know I stay with it, man, you know what I'm saying? But this is your Bullshit Speaks, man. Uh, once again, you know, big shouts out, shouts out to uh, C. Sanders, man. Again, bro, thank you, man. You Again, you blew my mind once again, man. I don't know how the hell you do it, man. You have some pretty profound thinking, bro. Big ups to you. Um, like I said, you know, if you ever want to just do, like, Skype sessions, you know, Skype calls where we can just throw ideas at each other, you know, theorize what the fuck is going to happen for the rest of this, this season and so forth and so forth or whatever, uh, CW show it is that we both have in common. Let me know in the comments as you blow, man. I think it would be a great ass idea. This is your boy Chester. Just you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment what you guys think about this video. What do you guys? You guys have any of your theories? Let me know in the comments section below as well. I love you guys. This is your boy Chester. One love.